Okay, guys, now my grandma's at the table, so, yeah. I have her snack, so now I'm going to read the Bible to her. I normally read the Bible to her every day, but go ahead. I bought her new sheets. Yeah, i seen them, but I was going to do her room in a minute. So you guys can stay and hear the Bible with us. I'm pretty so sure my nice. grandma don't mind because she likes the Bible herself. Jeez. Plus, it's really good. Yeah, so Jeez. that's what I'm going to do right now. Is, um, I gave her her snack. Right, she's going to have dinner in like an hour and a half. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to get the... Word out. I'm gonna read the book of John, guys. Well, she don't want that, or you don't want that. We'll just have to. She likes those things, though. I know. No, I mean. For oh dinner. yeah. Then you just have to go. <sighs> Girl, I'm about to get a Popeyes. I'm not gonna lie. Cause I'm on. I will drive to Popeyes. <laughs> I'm not playing. That's, she hasn't had that though. But we will have to get that sandwich. I'll sandwich. cut it up though for yeah. her. She'll love it. She though. will flip it. Grandma, I'm going to get you that. You're having it today. What is it? It's Popeye's. It's, Popeye's it's the new chicken like, sound. Do you, do you, it's and it's so the chicken popular. breast, it's Grandma. It's all over Facebook. It's all over the news. So website. after this, I will go. After and I do this, then I'll go. Well, well it's, it's good. Chicken. It's chicken. Mm -hmm. But they, they have My the grandma said, is it healthy? I'm like, Grandma, it's chicken. Every time we go, the line is out to the street. And I be. Wow. It's so good, Grandma. I wanted you to try it. I told my mom you would like it. Are you having a Christmas light on? I don't know. Yes, it's Christmas light on. <laughs> the projectors, I see it in well, the you, and I see it in the ceiling. Yeah, my hair looks crazy. I'm going like this too, to pick up our food. I'm not getting all beautified. It ain't like I'm going to meet my man or nothing. I ain't got a man. So, deal with it. Okay. We don't have to. We can... Okay, yeah, so yeah. are you gonna sit and hear it, Mom? Yeah, okay, but all right, I'm gonna pray over the the word. Okay. Grandma, say a prayer. I'm gonna hold your hand. Okay, my grandma's gonna pray over the word. So I when I read it, yeah. let's go. Okay. Heavenly Father. As we come before you now to hear your word, let it, in, let, it, let it help us, let it be a message to us, yes, Lord. and give us the understanding. Yes. Bless Jatoya as, he read, as she reads. Yes, Lord. We will praise you for it. Thank you, Lord. Yes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yay, God is love. So my grandma has me saying that, like, before. <laughs> I've been around her for a while. <laughs> yeah, it is. So. What was it? The new toaster oven. Oh, yeah, she got you one. It's a new one. It's good. It's a good one. She bought it for you today. Show YouTube, Mom, what you got. So, look, my mom, my mom spoils my grandma. Yeah. She will go and buy her all types of stuff. It's a convection and, oven and a toaster oven. Wow. So, like, you can cook in it, and it cooks everything evenly. That's good, though, because when we want to bake or do anything like that, then it it'll in. work. And it cooks it faster. My mom is a doll, you guys. I love her. I Absolutely. Her. I worked last night. I'm sorry, y'all. I look terrible. This is, my, this is my best friend. This is my it mom. Is. Oh. Yeah, my grandma and my mom are my best friends. Grandma, you are drinking air. <laughs> mom likes to drink. She, she drink. Grandma, do you want She's, some more? Well, she probably wants do you want more? Or something. Grandma. Some water. Okay, some she, water. Wants water. she wants water. Did I put another? I need to start. Any, a, any other drink is going to be a hot drink. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because she probably... We have to turn up, plug in that one heater I got her. Oh, yeah. For in here. Because she says cold in here. My mom and my uncle and my uncle was trying... They really... Yeah, spoiling my grandma. But we do, too. I do, too. 
I'm kind of like like that too. But my grandma's like that with she all of needs, us too. She needs to spoil though, because she's like that with everybody too. Yeah, my grandma's like that with everybody. My mom, my, my pretty much my whole family, even my siblings are like that. It's crazy. You know. I treated all of you that way. Mm -hmm. Grandma, did you? Huh? I treated all of you that way. Yeah, grandma, you did. You got it? And my great-grandkids, too. Yeah, guys, so I'm trying to lose weight. So I told my grandma. Because <laughs> I used to give you the money to get for him. For yeah, the, one year she gave me like a hundred and something dollars. hundred and fifty. It was like one fifty. I said, Grandma, I only have Lamaya and Sarah. So you she gave, well, actually, it was me. It was only me and Sarai. I, I don't even, yeah. Lamaya well, wasn't even here. What am I talking oh. about? And no. she gave me like 150, so I went and I and bought her. You don't have Destiny. Silly didn't have anybody. And Corey didn't have anybody yet either. No, they they had no kids, but Grandma she still gave, gave them that money. money though. But that's the year that Silly scored, and that girl ended up getting like three iPods. My grandma I bought me drinking. One, my mom Juice. bought her one, and then her Uncle Joseph and Aunt Jennifer bought her one. <laughs> It's so she had three. Wow. And she used all of them. That's crazy. She sure did. You're serious, she, huh? Yes. She had. You're not even kidding. On every last one of them. Wow. She sure did. That girl had like 500 and something songs. And then her uncle Jonathan spoiled her and got her a $50. This uh, is my little sister. She's on. She's on car. YouTube too, guys. You guys got to subscribe to her. This is um this is mine and grandma's channel right now, but we need to do it. Your channel's growing. But you're gonna have to start doing videos on that I one too, that, huh? I'm, I'm making your channel grow too. Because I've been posting videos on yours. I can't even post on yours. Because I'm doing it from my the other phone that you gave me, the new one. Oh. And I can't log into my mine's is on here. Oh. And so I have too much memory. I mean I don't have that much memory left on here. So all of our videos I have to do on here. Your videos I have to do on there. And then just start posting them out. All right, guys. So let me stop because I need to get into the word. I felt really bad because I didn't get to Jonathan get in the word today. So was I was like. <laughs> he don't feel good. Yeah, he said I'm sick. Yo, I thought I seen something. I don't want to like... get around mom. Yeah, he said that he didn't want to come around grandma because he was feeling sick. And I said that's good because. I haven't been going around people sick because I know I have to help her. Yeah. So yeah, I tell people, if you're sick, you have to stay Antonio away from me. I stayed over an hour today because Antonio called in. So once again, I did labor delivery and postpartum and all that because she wasn't going to be there. I told you my mom works in the hospital. She has since I was like seven years old. I'm 32. And <laughs> so you do the math. Anyway, she called me and said, I'm in the ER. I have shingles. I said, stay there. Don't come over here. I don't want it. Love no, don't we don't need me. it. Stay yeah. over there. My co-worker. They, they, they took her off work because she has shingles. Okay, I have to hurry before my grandma's phone dies or YouTube's not going to be able to see this video. Well, they oh, will, but it won't be the thing. Okay. Yeah. So, this we're on, I'm reading from the book of John and I'm reading chapter 3. And this is Jesus okay. teaching Nicodemus how to be born again. So, yeah. Now there was a Pharisee, a man named Nicodemus, who was a member of the Jewish ruling council. He came to Jesus that night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God. For no one could perform the signs you are doing if God were not with, with him. Jesus repl replied, Verily, truly, I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. How can someone be born when they are old, Nicodemus asked. Surely they cannot enter a second time into, into their mother's womb to be born. Well, of course not. But <laughs> Jesus answered, Verily, truly, I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and the spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit gives birth to the spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it pleases. 
you hear it sound. I that's so funny, you guys, because I actually tell people this, and it's in the Bible. Like I told people, God is like the wind, like you know, and that's what God's explaining here too. The wind blows where it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. How can this be, Nicodemus asked. You are Israel's teacher, said Jesus, and you do not understand these things. Verily, truly, I tell you, we speak of what we know and we testify of what we have seen. But still, you people do not accept our testimony. I have spoken to you of earthly things, and you do not believe. How then will you believe if I speak of heavenly things? That's a big cue, guys. Yeah. No one has ever gone into heaven except the one who came from heaven. The Son of Man, just as Moses is, lifted up the snake in the wilderness. So the Son of Man must be lifted up that everyone who believes may have eternal life mm -hmm. in him. So the only way you can have eternal life is if you repent of your sin and you be baptized in Jesus' name and you get filled with the Holy Spirit. That is what God's talking about. He's not talking about Nicodemus was like, oh, well, how do we do that? Because in a, in a mentality of a human mind, we only know the, the human aspect. God has to open our spiritual aspect to understand him. So God was telling Nicodemus, in order for you to even see the kingdom of God, to even know the kingdom of God, anything like that, you have to be born again in the spirit, not in your flesh. Flesh is born of the flesh. Spirit is born of the spirit. So just a cue. I got to hurry because my grandma's phone's on 5%. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that who, whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world. So God didn't come here to condemn you guys. Like, you meet Christians that aren't fully right with God and you get the wrong perception of God and that's why you need to search the scriptures for yourself and ask God to show himself to you because if you do listen to other people not saying that other people aren't right but sometimes they're not fully right with God in their spirit and they come off in the in a wrong way judgmental and that's not God that's the flesh so yeah and that's why I'm reading this is what God even says so Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only son. This is the verdict. Light has come into the world, but people loved darkness instead of light because their deeds were evil. Everyone who does evil hates the light and will not come into the light for fear that their deeds will be exposed talking about sin. So a lot of people love to be in sin because sin feels good. Drinking feels good. Having sex feels good. Doing certain things of the flesh, of course, that feels good because you're born into that. So it's, it's natural nature. But at the end, you're going to lose your soul. If you don't turn and you don't repent, you, you will lose your soul in the end when you face God. And God will tell you, because God said he's not coming back until everybody in the earth all around hears the true gospel. And guess what, guys? That's already happening. So when you stand before God and you're like, but wait, I didn't know. God is going to remind you. I sent my prophet. I'm a prophet of God. My grandma's a prophet of God. My mom's a prophet of God. People that are on, and not everybody is, what, and I don't even mean to say a prophet. I'm a, I believe in God, and I'm trying to follow his commands and give out his message. So basically, I'm a teacher, okay? And you guys can't say that you can't go on YouTube and hear teachers. Not saying that everybody's right, because you can operate in gifts too and not be right. But the point is, and there's a there's a punishment for those people also. You know, you got to be careful. You have to make sure you're right. Astray. Leading people yeah. astray and leading them not into the truth. But before every before God comes back. Every single human being on earth will hear the gospel, but that not everybody's going to, right, but not everybody's going to accept the gospel because just like God is saying, Jesus himself is saying right here, people love darkness. They love sin. 
because sin feels good. So yeah, I'm just telling the truth and I will share my testimony with everybody on here. I was the main harlot. I was a drunkard. I used to smoke weed. I did all of these things against God, guys, but I just could not shake God. Like even in my drunkenness, I would tell people about God because it was already, it was almost like it was in me, but I just had a problem. So exactly. So anyways, but whoever lives by the truth comes into the light so that it may may be seen plainly that what they have done has been done in the sight of God. So if you're walking in sin, you guys, God tells you clearly you're walking in darkness. You're you're walking in darkness. There's no joy. There's no peace in your mind. The, your peace is going to the club, having sex, um, taking drugs, drinking, because you have no natural peace in your natural mind. You feel overwhelmed and you feel stressed out and you feel oppressed and everything so it's important for everybody to read the bible like it's important and if you don't understand it do what i do i read the niv version and that normally helps me to understand it so that's kind of what i'm reading to you guys now so this is my last chapter i'm going to read with you guys jesus talks with a samaritan woman now Jesus learned that the Pharisees had heard that he was gaining and baptizing more disciples than John. Although, in fact, it was not Jesus who baptized, but his disciples. So he left Judea and went back once more to Galilee. Now 